Hey guys, Daniel James here, and today we are going to be doing a first look at Orchestral Tools, new brass library, JXL, as in Junkie XL Brass. Now, for those of you who are new to the first look series, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to open this new library for the first time, and we're going to go through it together, me with the live chat room down here, who is... Uh, who is talking about things and saying hello to you guys. So if you're on YouTube, feel free to say hi back. But anyway, the way we're going to do is just open it up and we're going to experience it together. So without further ado, is it ado, ado? I don't know. How do you pronounce it? Further ado, further ado. Let's go and check it out. So I haven't loaded it up yet. And the reason I did that is I wanted to show something. I, I had to test this first. So this is the only thing I've tested so far. So as I've mentioned before, my usual template works like this. So I have empty instances of contact usually, but the sign player is a brand new player. But the thing I wanted to show is that all I have to do in my template to set this up is I change this down to the sign player. Let's do that. Hopefully everything works and does not crash because that would be embarrassing. We do that and then I need to just set these MIDI channels up. So let's delete those. I'll change this first one to the sign player. And then all I need to do beyond that is add MIDI tracks, like make sure that one's selected. I'll change the name to brass number two and let's make seven more of those. Add the track and now you'll see that all of these are linked and sent to the sign player on different tracks, nice and easy. I'm gonna make them the same color. Boom, that is it, it is done. And now it's it will work exactly the same as the rest of my template. So browse. So the, the sign player, as I mentioned earlier, is their brand new player. And so I'm not sure. Let me just check something. I need to make sure that like when I click on the store or my licenses, like my personal details don't come up. I didn't check that before. I probably should have done. Okay. So don't click on account, my licenses. Okay. Yeah. So... You can purchase and um, you can purchase and check all your libraries up here. We won't go into those too much because you know, just in case, like my personal info pops up, which always worries me. I do wish. So that's the first thing I'm going to say about the sign player. I do wish that the download was um, the download section, the store was like separate from the player. I understand why it's inside it for for the ease of use, but um, you know. I do, when I'm streaming, I don't want the potential to be accidentally doxing myself. But anyway, so the way this works, so you look over here on the right, we've got the articulation list. It's currently empty. And that will work much like, I'm going to do a few comparisons. So uh, contact, so the articulation bit there is sort of like this here in a weird way. But anyway, let's browse. So I didn't download all of the, the um, microphones. The, the way it works is you can download... Uh, individual mic, a la carte, I believe is the phrase. Let me quickly load up the store and double check this again, because again, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to accidentally dox myself. Right, my licenses. Let's have the details, details. Okay, no personal details, good. So when you want to download something, right? You go to my licenses, you click on the thing. And the first thing I downloaded was this basic kit, right? And what that downloads is the Alan Myerson close mic and the Alan Myerson tree mic, right? That was the first thing I downloaded. I gave, you know, I downloaded that to give it a try, see what was happening, uh, see if it worked and, and it did. And then I took a very brief listen to him and I was like, okay, what else should we download? So I downloaded, uh, you can see I downloaded the mid and the room mic. I didn't down, download the surround mics because I don't have a surround setup. So I don't really need the reverse one and I don't really need the surround right now. If we want to, we can download that later. So I, I missed those ones out. Uh, I only really wanted one close mic, so I got the Alan Myerson one. But yeah, so I, I also, I didn't have that much SSD space left over. So, you know, I gave it, that was one of the things I love, by the way, is I didn't have much SSD space, but because I could download it like this, I just downloaded it like that. So let me just quickly check that for you. Someone asked how big my install folder is. So with those microphones installed only, it is currently uh, orchestral tool, sign player. Let's have a look. It is 128 gig. So the ones that I've downloaded, which are these mics here, that's 128 gig. So that is a lot, but you know, that's not even all of them, but that is how big that download was. So they're the ones we're gonna be playing with today. Uh, so anyway, let's go back to the library. So the way it works is uh, 
you come up here, you get your little libraries. I assume over time, this will be populated with all your other libraries as well. So it's much like the uh, in contact. This is going to be like this, you know, this side window. This will populate with your libraries. So let's take a ganders. So where should we begin? I think I want to start with the French horns. It's got to be. Should we go solo French horns? We'll, we'll go in order. So the way, there's two ways to install this, I think. I think you can either drag it or you can double click it. But let's drag it in. All right. Here we go. The moment of truth. Oh, wait, it's still loading in. Does it work? Oh, wait, I'm, I'm on that. So it immediately loads. <laughs> it's a fascinating concept. All right, we're on Legato. All right, let, let me turn off my reverb for now. I know some of you guys get very mad about that. Let me turn that off. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Man, that gets intense. So one cool th feature that they do have, so I'm liking this, I'm liking the sound of the solo horn. Someone says it feels like it's panned to the right. And the mixer looks like that's, that is replicating that. If you look up at the top here, it does look like it's right heavy. But one cool thing you can do is currently we're just on the tree. So if I bring in the close mic, let's bring that on. Hello? Oh God, did we break it? Oh no, there we go. <laughs> it's loading in. Oh God, we broke it. Also, it has that button. This button, by the way, is, is ingenious. If you get a stuck note, click that and everything turns off. So now I've introduced the close mic, you can see that it actually goes uh, a lot more central. So it seems like the tree mic is slightly to the right. And we can, if we want, just pan this over to the left. You know, just to balance it out the way you want. Helps if you actually don't fuck up playing. So doing fast lines doesn't seem too doable at the minute. Let me pull in some sustains. Tasty. Tasty. Let me try the soft one. One thing I did notice, by the way, is the sustains do get very buzzy up at the top. And if I remember correctly from the video, you can turn that off, right? So we, yeah. So if you click on the dynamics here, we can actually turn off those top layers. So now the mod wheel all the way up, that's as loud as it goes. So now when we play that, Try another mic. So we got the tree up. I downloaded the uh, the unprocessed ones as well, so I could compare the difference. Let's actually do that. So let's wait for this to load in a little bit. in my reverb. So when I, this is how it will sound if I put my reverb on.
Oh, have we crashed? Oh God, something's happening. <laughs> My mix window has seemingly frozen. Interestingly, I can still click around here, so. Let's try to turning these back on. Okay, interestingly, it seems like my my entire UI is getting hung up. Look, you see that's stuck. But like if I click, it like updates. How about if we close that down? Does that interesting? Interesting. So it seems like the UI is like somehow catching. You see that? Like it's frozen the UI, but if I click. It still kind of works, but like, uh, you can't see on my mix window, but like my, they're like frozen. But then what happened was like when I was clicking, it was sort of unfreezing a little bit. Wait. Oh wait, what did I do? I need to click on the brass again. So it's weird. It's like, I'm getting weird UI hangups. I'm not sure why that's happening. We turned on. Yeah, look. See, like my the UI has frozen, but then like if I click, wait, what happened? It was like if I click away from it. Yeah, and like now you can't see it. You might be able to see it. Like if I, every time I click, it updates now. So I'm not sure what's happening there. It's like it's capturing <laughs> the screen. I'm not sure why, but they definitely need to take a look at that. But interestingly, this UI is still fine. Right, and I've somehow turned the volume down. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's all turning into a cluster. Hang on. Right, where's my fader? Oh, wait, that didn't work. I don't want you that high up. Bloody hell. <laughs> now it's a mission to try and get my fader. What is going on? Okay, and clip mute. Let me, oh, no. Okay, let me put the volume. Please, please. <laughs> what is going on? Come on, guys. Right. Okay, it's back to normal. To be honest, I don't know why I expect it. I, 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 I expected a little bit more, but then I realized it's 1.0. So, I mean, I guess they're, they're all a bit buggy when they start and they, God damn it. Right. But this, this UI seems to be working just fine. So I'm not sure quite what happened there. Right. But anyway, so let's try out the soft sustains. While it loads stuff, don't do anything while RAM is red. Well, I mean, it's still it's still got my um, like my, for some reason my my UI is still locked up for some reason. That is that red button always on. Can we turn this off. We're definitely going to need an update for this as quick as possible. Right, I'm not going to spend too long uh, with the solo horn <laughs> for now. Although I do really like the sound of that. So do, we do have an envelope, right? So the release sample, can we just increase this somewhat?
Okay, that's what the release sample sounds like. Oh wait, you can't see it too well. Let me move this over to the side here. That does actually sound really good. Let me put my reverb back on. Let's have a listen. Okay, I like the sound of that. Let's try some mic positions. So is this, wait, I'm just gonna quickly check my uh, activity monitor and see if, it, if my RAM's full or something. No, so we still have, I'm using 17 gig of RAM out of 64. So um, the RAM's not full up and Cubase is only using three. So I'm not sure why we're getting this, why it's locking up my, uh... okay. Let me just check. Are we still live by the way? Um, well, the thing is, I don't know if, I didn't know if if this is logging, uh, this is choking up the stream as well, because it's it's clearly doing something bizarre to the uh, to my system. Like again, it's like locking the UI. I could still click around it, um, but like for some reason I couldn't. Like we could still load these open and stuff. Oh look, I can't I can't click in contact either. Oh man, orchestral tools, you gotta, let's do this bro, let's get this fixed. Let's get this fixed. We can't be having this. <laughs> All right, let's go back to brass. Let's try these staccatos, I wanna see how. Am I downloading more mics in the background? No, I'm not. I'm just I'm just straight up using it. For some reason, the, the fucking, the strip, <laughs> the strip on my thing is now opened up. Why? I don't want the strip. Go away. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to deal with that. All right, I can just click there, okay. Staccatissimo. So yeah, it's it's bizarre. It's like I'm getting these really strong uh, hang-ups. Let's try a faster tempo. <laughs> what? 250 BPM. It's because I put it in eights. I should have just done it in sixteenths, really.
in them. <laughs> Just wanted to see what it would sound like. So short, I'd say is like, you could do that, but like you wouldn't, you wouldn't obviously do it like that. Just wanted to see what it sounded like. Let me turn the reverb back off. I love the buzziness at the top though. So yeah, right now, right now, my, uh, my, <laughs> my whole UI is like locked out. So as it, as it, is this current way I couldn't use it in a project project, unfortunately. Um, I, I just couldn't like literally my, my UI is all frozen up. So what I'm going to do for the stream is I'm just going to keep going for as long as it allows us to and see what happens. So one thing I wanted to point out about my, uh, modular setup, hopefully they can get this fixed so that this isn't a recurring problem. Cause that needs to be fixed ASAP. Cause right now it's unusable. Um, I don't know why it's doing this. But one of the cool things it can do is because uh, I've set my thing up like that, now I've loaded this in, it is multi-timbral. So you see that that automatically just assigned it to MIDI channel two. Jesus, that four horns <laughs> sounds bigger than some of my 12 horn patches. So someone asks, what happens when I restart the player? Let's give that a go. So let's change this to no VST instrument. Let's see if everything frees up. Oh God. Can we, will it let us do that? I can't let you do that, Dave. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. And it crashed. Okay. So we definitely need to get some fixes in there. We definitely need to, <laughs> to get some uh, fixes in that. So just turning, just closing it down, trying to change it to something else, crashed it. So it's, it feels like it's struggling with the prime time currently, which is unfortunate because I was excited for this. However, for the sake of the stream today, we're going to try and, uh, what's the word? We're going to try and fight into, <laughs> fight through it, fight through the shit. We're going to try and get through some of these sounds. All right. Let's try again. Let's try again. So I've just got to wait for that to load up. How much RAM do, uh, usage have I got now? Now that it's closed, let me check. All right, now that it's closed, it's still saying it's using 14 gig. So I'm not sure where that memory has gone. So I assume that like those, those patches that I used are still actually loaded into RAM. We'll see when we load it up. Hit a BRAM every time it, every time it crashes. But why is the RAM gone? <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean references. Mm. I'm loving the sound of it so far. So far, we've only done the solo horn. Right, let's um, let's try this again. So I'm going to put this over here. This time, in fact, no, I want like it. I'm going to do it the way that I would do it with anything else. Like, there's no preferential treatment here. So we're going to try loading it back into the uh, back into the the thing. Now, one thing I, I do wonder, so when I, when I was using this, just before we go back, when I was using this, uh, when I was downloading the things, one thing I did notice is that the UI or the internet usage of the sign player was complete. Like when it was downloading the libraries, I couldn't use the internet. I would keep getting, you are disconnected errors. Like things are not, you know, you're not connected to the internet, even though I clearly was because sign was downloading. So the sign player clearly takes up the entire bandwidth of my internet connection. I have about hundred megabit download, like 10 megabit upload. Did I say download the first time? Yeah. hundred megabit download, 10 megabit upload. And it took up everything. I couldn't send tweets. I couldn't, I couldn't read forums. I couldn't do anything. So it seems to take it up. And that's what I was talking about earlier about how I feel like the downloader and the player should be separated because I, what I fear is happening is that in the background, it's trying to ping the internet. Like it's trying, and if it can't get, a, if it can't get a connection, because one thing that did happen is while it was open and I was using it, I clicked on the, my licenses thing where it would have pinged the internet. And then from that point on, it started going wrong. So I'm wondering if perhaps this is uh, attempting to like force connections to the internet to check licenses or check download situations, whatever that would be. And that somehow locks it up. 
But anyway, let's, where were we up to? So let's go back to the, the horns. Oh, I need to set this up. Again, for those who, who were wondering, like the way I set this up, so I'm just going to remove these old ones because whenever you change this instrument in my setup, it disconnects the MIDI channel. So I just reconnect it and then click on the channel that I already have, which has the assignment. Create a new one, brass two in this chart. Because if you give it a number, it will automatically number up. So we create seven tracks. You see it's created brass two through, two through eight, actually. And then I'll just change the color to match. And now these are all assigned to the sign player. So where were we up to? Right, let's go to the... So as you can see, like right now, right now. So right now it's not hanging the system. So I'm wondering if I click my licenses, Let's, I'm trying to I'm trying to see at what point it starts to go wrong. So we're good there. So let's try clicking the store. Okay, that wasn't it. So a Alex said, "Oh, there we go." You see, look, when I, as soon as I changed away from the store, now it's locked up. So I'm wondering if it's something to do with pinging the connection. You see, because look, clicking on store took it away. But clicking off the store freezes it. Yeah, so it's got something to do with pinging the internet. You see, because whenever I click on something that pings the internet, it starts working again. <laughs> yeah, you have to buy something from the store for your UI to work. Okay, so now that the UI is working, let's see if it lets us change this away. No. So turning off China, if you at any point try to delete the player, <laughs> I'm a f I can't let you do that, Dave. I can't let. That's uh, that's basically the the fuck you. It's like if you try not to use the sign player, then it crashes. Okay. It's good. It's good. Like, I feel this is valuable information for us and it's valuable information for them. Right. Let's try again. Let's try again. This is, is uh, this player needs a bit of work. I feel so far. Like it's, I, I don't know. I like, I, I, what do you guys want? Should we try to figure out the bugs or should I just keep going through uh, through the sounds. What, what, what would you guys like? This is a first look. So this is what happens on a first look. Uh, there are some issues. Just keep going through the sounds. Okay, let's just keep going through the sounds. I'm not going to click on the store or my licenses, okay? That seems to be what makes it hang. I do want to see, however, one last thing. I just want to see if doing that again uh, without clicking. Let me, I, I don't, I'll have to have it loaded up. Let me see if I can, so I can, I can do that with nothing. All right, I can do it with nothing. Let's load up the sign player. All right, can we? Yes, yeah, so we can do it when it hasn't crashed, okay? So that's step one, that's good. That's a good sign. Sign. Right, okay, let's, let's get this set back up. So what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to go anywhere near the store or licenses because that was the point when it started to go fuckery. I feel like I feel like th this is something they should have probably picked up in uh, QA testing. But alas, let us continue through the sounds. So let's go back to the, the horn A4. That's where we were up to, wasn't it? We already did that. Go away, please. There we go. Browse. French horns. Four. It's one of those things, though. It's like what I said with Bohemian violins. Sometimes 
libraries are good enough to go through the bugs. I feel like this definitely needs work before it's ready to go into systems. But if it's cheaper now, it feels like the sounds are going to be worth it. Because listen to that shit. Let me turn the reverb off again. Again, I love this feature. This, this to me, is so underrated. Because that buzziness at the top is going to be great for Epic. But when you're doing... When you're doing something less, I can just turn off that top layer and that is the top of the mod wheel now. So let me put on the sustains. I'm going to put my reverb on for this. In fact, no, let's not use reverb. Stop using reverb, you knobhead. Right, let's... So we've got a tree mic up. Let's let's turn off that tree. Let's put on uh, the basic mics. So we've got mid tree, and I'm going to bring in an Alamiasen close mic, but we're going to turn that down somewhat. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> it doesn't like it when you push buttons while it's loading. Yeah, it sticks. Nope, go away. Right. Again, let's just turn off those top layers so we've only got an MF. Top, top of the mod wheel range. Let's try swapping those out for, so that was the mid tree. Solo them. So this is the mid mic. And the tree. By the way, this bugs me. I don't know if they did this just to fuck with me, but like it confuses me because if you, <laughs> if you look on the Cubase one, mono, uh, mute is on the left, solo is on the right. So it, to me, when I look at it, this looks like the channel here because for, like that's just how when I quickly look over at the mix window, I know which channel I'm on because uh, mute's on the left, solo's on the right. But of course, they put solo on the left, mute on the right. It's it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, but goddamn, if, if they could give me an option to swap that around, I would be forever grateful <laughs> because I keep looking and going, okay, wait, am I muting that? Wait, oh, great. Right. Okay, here we go. So solo. So this is the tree. Right, let's bring up the FF because F, triple F really shows the. I actually want to turn this mic on as well. One thing I didn't uh, didn't mention earlier, by the way, is you can actually play it while it's loading sometimes. Uh, so in comparison to other players where you have to wait like three minutes for it to completely load, this seems to do what contact does where it will start whichever key that you're you're playing seems to load quicker than the others right let's listen to this uh, room mic oh I heard the dynamic change there that snuck in there we noticed that on the live stream as well so like the first few dynamics. Yeah, you can get up to like FF before you start hearing the dynamic change. 
I feel like though, if you're, unless you're soloing it, Let's try sustain soft. And I'm gonna, what should we do here? So we've already got a room mic, tree mic. What do they sound like together? I beg to differ that that is soft, sir. Right, so if it's soft, let's turn off the top layers again. I really love the sound of these. Man, they need... I, I'm hoping that that 1.1 like player update comes out within the next few days because I'm loving the sound. I want to get this into my productions, but I can't have it hanging up my system. I can't do it. Oh, wait, I turned all the mics off. There's a good idea. Good job. Good job, Dan. So Mark along. So just an MF layer. So are these controlled by? How do we change this to be? Uh, That's how you pronounce, that's how you pronounce Thrusten, if, you, if I remember correctly from the video. The thing I'm really liking is you can really feel the room. I mean, I'm in the room, Mike. That makes sense. <laughs> Go figure. But I mean, like, you can actually feel the room that it's in. And that for brass, for, like, if you've ever heard dry brass by itself, I mean, we could probably do it with the close mic. You can even hear the room in that. Yeah, that's that doesn't count because you can still feel the room. But when, when, if you've ever heard like completely dry brass, it just sounds like, like it doesn't sound good. So brass is one of those instruments. The sound of it is defined by the room. It's not just uh, like you put it in a room for the sake of it. A room is part of the brass instrument, like 100%, right? So no matter, no matter, <laughs> no matter how you record it, if you're in a bad room, the brass will sound flat. And 
the thing about this Teldex stage, and it's the same reason that the uh, Cine, uh, yeah the Cinebrass Pro sounds amazing because it's in the Sony Hall, brilliant room for brass. But the, is it the Teldex stage? What whatever that stage is, it's the one they use for Metropolis Arc. It works amazingly well for brass. It's got that it's got that reflection in it. Teldex, that's how it's pronounced. Okay, it's got that. I, I mean, you guys, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Like the room that it's in makes it sound amazing. Let's turn on all these Alan Myerson ones. It's loading in. It doesn't like it when you try and play when it's loading. Let's put on the staccato. Yeah, the stream will be available after the live show's over. It'll also go on to YouTube. Like, just listen to the room. Ready? That is an amazing brass tone. Oh, I'll give you, I'll give you Spitfire. This is Spitfire's FFF. Okay, that's a little bit facetious. Now, still. Probably around here. Nope, not that. Probably about this. Yeah, this is about Spitfire's triple F. Which is a nice tone. But for some reason, orchestral tools always have. I mean, we can definitely do the comparison. This is a first look, so let's do that. Let's take a listen to it. So Albion 1 is the one that they promote as their, uh, their hybrid epic orchestra. So at full whack. That's you can see the dynamics on that one all the way up. Let's do the same on uh same on this. I mean, which one sounds more triple F to you? Like I'm not just saying that to be a dick, it's true. <laughs> like I don't say things for the sake of it. It's legitimately what it is. Like that's that's the thing. Whenever I say these things, you're watching me stream it for hours. You can tell if I was lying. <laughs> I'm not. So let's try this feature. I don't know how this works. This could crash everything. I'm just gonna, in case something like loads up, let me just click this merge feature. Let's call it. DJ stream test merge. So I've just clicked the merge mic. Oh God, it's going to take a minute. Okay, we're just going to we're just going to cancel that for now because that's going to take too long. But we'll do that at the end of the stream while we're concluding our thoughts, okay? So they have this feature called the mic merge, right? So you can see right now we're using 3.5 gigs of RAM. If I turn off, let's turn off, I don't know, four of those. So one mic seems about a gig, right? A gig in size. Also, it doesn't seem to stay in RAM. Although let me just quickly double check my activity monitor, see if, um... yeah, and it doesn't seem like it, it doesn't seem like it refreshes the memory either. So let me just double check that. that. That's something I need to check. Because I did this for Spitfire, so I'll do it for orchestral tools. Right, so if I unload this, is there anything there that gives away my... No, we're good. Okay, so let's bring this up, right? Uh, oh, wait, I can't. Okay. One secondo. Right, uno momento, por favor. So if we look, if we look up here, like I brought me RAM up, I brought me RAM up at the top here. You can see that at the 19. So if I unload a mic, it doesn't refresh. 
But if I load it back in, it puts more memory. Did it put more in? No. Okay. So uh, what it looked like it was doing at first is it was putting more in, but it's not. Disable Legato and watch it go down big time. Okay. It is, it is disabled. Right, maybe we have to disable it here. Two point four, two point five, two point. It's definitely not. No, two point five. So it went up point one. It went up about hundred meg when I turned off. But what I thought it was doing is uh, keep contributing to RAM. So what it looks like it's doing is it's keeping it in RAM, but it's still reloading it every time I load it in. But it's not adding more RAM. So I, I guess it just means it has to load in. That is a really nice legato. What does the purge button on the bottom right do? I don't know. Let's try. The, the RAM went up to 17 million. <laughs> I don't know what it did. Let's have a look. Let's, I'm going to check my activity monitor again. It didn't unload anything from RAM. So I'm not sure what it did. Let's have a look. 2.5. Let's purge it again. Goes to 10 million. 100 million. <laughs> Yeah, so it just it takes it down to a gig. So it's weird. It like unloads it. So I think if I maybe unload some of these or something, I'm not quite sure. I'd have to read the manual for that. By the way, something worth pointing out is we because we haven't gone to the store or the my licenses yet, we haven't had any... Uh, locking up of the system. So it does seem to be related to some sort of internet connection issue. So again, again, I would love it if they, if they could disconnect them somehow or make it so that this part is unaffected by this part. Again, I'll just point that out. So you remember like whenever I clicked on the store, it locked up my UI, but it's not doing that anymore, which is good. And the reason I keep mentioning that is if orchestral tools watch this later, I'm sort of doing QA testing for them. Anyway, so that was the Horns 4. Now let's try loading in the Horns 6. I love that they did this, by the way, because the different sizes, whilst they don't sound too different, they have different vibes. Something again I'd like to point out is that this fits exactly into my uh, my template. So for those of you who wonder how I work, I work in a modular system, so I have these groups set up with empty instances of contact. So if I look here, you see like, well, okay, Albion one's in it for now. Normally it's empty like this. And then I load and because it's a multi, all of these MIDI channels just point to this one instance. I can do the exact same thing. All I had to do was swap out the brass, uh, the sign player, the, the contact player for the sign player. Anyway, so all, all I have to do now is load instruments in. So that I'm going to put the 12 down here. You see like that. And so now this track will be my 12 horns when it eventually loads in. Even though it clicked itself into existence, that is still a significantly faster load <laughs> than the Spitfire player was. Man, 12 horns sounds so good, but we're on six horns. Let's get them six horns right so let's uh go to the mixer and let's just go horns a4 let's just uh bring those down to just a room mic for now bring that ram usage and we're on horn six so this is the tree just a tree mic let's bring in a room mic come on I want to hear that just by itself. So the room mic on six horns is like.
And the problem is I have a 6061 key keyboard and they put, by the looks of it, the <laughs> the uh, key change right down at the bottom. So I wonder if there is a way to make that like an octave higher. Oh, that sounds juicy. So that's just a room mic together. That's the difference it makes. So this is just the room mic. I bring in the tree mic. Go to the options, you can change it there. Ah, okay. Control them out, key switches. Key switch start area. Low instruments. High instrument. So, wait, how low down? Oh, okay, yeah. So we want this one to at least be C, C minus one, please. Now, it didn't update it, so do I have to... What, what happened there? So are these considered low instruments? You can just change it visually. Go to performance bottom left. Oh, down here. Oh, yeah, okay. I see what you mean. Oh, I, ca I can drag it. There we go. Thank you. That is very useful. You are good people. There we go. There we go. Look at that. That is really fucking useful. <laughs> can we do that in all of them? Oh, in the performance. Whoever mentioned that, you're, you are an awesome human being. although it doesn't seem to be actually changing it. Ah, oh, it's not doing anything. Look, I'm clicking. I'm clicking the thing. Oh yeah, it did, it changed it for Horns 12. You're right, it's doing it. Uh, okay, okay, it, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I fucked that up, okay? Okay, give me a break. Give me a break. I was on the wrong channel. You see, that's why we do it with you guys. Okay, they need to work on that though. So if you listen, right, which is great. If I actually change it, it the sound drops out. Is that because I put it on poly? Yeah. Okay, so if you have it on poly mode and you do a key switch, it cuts out the sound. But that's because I've it's doing something here. So make sure you're in mono, mo uh, mono mode for that. So that, so we want to go between G zero to so that. So nah, I'm not quick enough, but let's program something. Let's see. see so we got, I love that you, man. 
So again, we, we talked about this in the videos beforehand. This right here is a composer focused feature. And we talk about like, um, you know, I, I talk about other players existing as a fuck you to contact. And what you can see here is this feature alone is doing something that contact cannot do. All the other players, mind you, play, the play engine, which I've used a bit recently, has actually evolved over time. I actually quite like the play player now, the east-west player. But anyway, so like the, the other one, the, the other big one, obviously, is Spitfire player, which has nothing obvious that contact can't already do, right? Which, which makes it what, like what you guys called it in a previous stream, a fuck you contact player. And now this alone, right? Just being able to say, okay, the key switches were down here. And then just being able to drag them all the way up and be like, I want my key switches to start from here. Well, actually not there, there. That is an amazing composer focus feature because that means you can come in and actually change it to however you want on the fly. You don't have to dig into menus. Like you guys told me to come up here. In fact, I'm going to change this back to what it was because I don't want to fuck anything up. No Cubase. That wasn't your time to shine. And just being able to do it here, that is amazing to me. I know that seems like nothing. And also, also being able to actually move the keyboard. Oh God, I fucked it. I fucked it. Oh God, I've transposed it. I've transposed it. I shouldn't, have, you shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Can we play them together? I broke it. Don't do this. It transposes it. No. I'm ashamed. There we go. I'm ashamed of my words and deeds. Right. Okay. <laughs> I fixed it. Don't move that. <laughs> Don't move it to the wrong note unless you want to have a permanently transposed one. Right. So we were going to try doing this. So the cool thing is, is I hopefully... Let's put this up here. So that would be, we want Marcato long, so that's E zero, and then Staccatissimo, which is now G zero. We'll put that there. And back to E zero. Did that go? It went to stack art. Oh, there we go. So why didn't that go da da? Oh, is that really? Okay, it was really quick. Okay, so that tail didn't finish. Okay, just interesting, interesting things. Am I still in eights? I am, aren't I? Hmm. Okay. like a four sando chord. Um, so it's four. Oh, and, and you can see like I could, the cool thing, like not all of them do this, is like if you are for some reason not sure where it is, like it says the note, but you can just scroll through, like moving the MIDI note and it'll update it up here, which is really useful actually. So we'll try. And then can we go to a soft? What does that do?
You can extend the range. How? How do you extend the range? Okay, I like that, but let's change that to marcato. So that's how it used to sound before we had marcatos with the same attack as sustain, uh, same attack as the shorts. Uh, what would happen is you would end up with these uh, like wah sounds, but we have two different types. We have sforzando sustains, which will take us from. So a good a good little tip, I think I'm going to test the tip, is that if you want to go from your shorts, you know, with a really harsh attack, you do the uh, drag the left part. I'll do that in a second. But if you yeah, if you want to get from like the sharp attacks like this. And you want to get down to a soft sustain instead of going from marcato to it, just do a sforzando before, like as the first note of your new softer section. I think this will work. And then can we watch this be completely wrong? So if we actually do some. Sort of. But it seems like the Sforzando is, is velocity based. Let's try it. Actually, let's try going to just sustains. Sort of. Sort of. Maybe not then. Also, that's a bit fucking loud. So let's bring these down. Okay. What's up with the marcatos there? Why aren't they going soft? So the marcato is only loud. Or are they veloc are they mod wheel based? No, they're definitely velocity. Interesting. You need to calm your tits, sir. So there's interestingly some some uh, deviation in the volume levels. You'd have to fiddle around and get that right, I feel like. Let's try bringing these mics down a little bit because they are blowing the roof off. Interesting. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Right, so let's move on to some others. Oh, we got we didn't do the rips. Let's change that to rips. Rip torn. Bring you back up a little bit. Just just a different key, please, because that's getting obnoxious. <laughs> Maybe not that, but yeah. The idea was there, and then it was not. I mean, they're all there. They're all there. All the boys are in. Right, let's try the 12 horns. I wonder what, what it would be like if we just uh, straight up moved this MIDI file over. 
Did we change? Yeah, we changed the horns to be the same, didn't we? What? Oh, it's because we left it in mo uh, poly mode. You see, I'm already recognizing the things when I've fucked up. <laughs> it's a shit line, but deal with it for now. Okay. So let's load up some other mic on the 12. Yeah, that is that one. I feel, yeah, I feel like you need to turn these down quite a lot. Stream test, not, no, no. Uh, try extending the range also. So how do we do that again? So is that on performance? Do we just drag the right edge up? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my good, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, ideas, ideas are happening. Right, where's my low notes? Give, I'm not spot. How low does the oboe go though, bro? You know? Oh. Oh. oh, okay, get all the weight, keep going. That is still, pl that is still usable. That is still usable, like two octaves below. Right, okay, we need more mics. And we need a close mic for this. Uh, we'll bring in the room mic as well. Holy fuck. Okay, let's not blow up the system. Am I blowing up the system? There we go, right. That still sounds legit. Okay. I, uh, man, I would still use that. I'm just going to put it in, uh, I'm going to put it in my reverb for a second. I'm going to take away that, that, uh, let's take away the, the triple F so that it's not buzzing. Can we just appreciate that for a second, that that still works, that low down? What are the staccatissimos like down there? <laughs> Let's do the octave. Right, so we'll go all the way up to the top. Let's see what, let's see how dumb we can get it. So if you want a new hi-hat sound, I appreciate that it exists, though. I appreciate that if I so desired, I could have this be my horn line. If I so desired. Oh. Maybe not, though. Can we maybe... So you wouldn't actually do that, I don't think. But I again, I appreciate that it's there. Again, I appreciate that they're there. I would never use that. Down another octave. Obviously would use that. Okay, we're, we're a bit too low to do... Um,
That is insane. I love that. I actually kind of... I want to, like, resample this. It just sounds like a tuba. A really filthy tuba. But 12 of them. Anyway, so let's bring that back up. Where, where was the range? It was like here or something, wasn't it? Because we had these at... C this was at C1, so... Let's just bring this up here. It's easier. <laughs> Man, I love French horns and they all sound fucking awesome to me. I mean, I didn't need to go to the Sforzano horns there. I could have kept it on. Don't. What I could do is just cut these like that and then have like this. Just cut these bad boys up. Fucking hell. Like that. And then let's just copy across this whole thing. We don't need that anymore. We need to go here, don't we? Do, 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 do. So that didn't happen quick enough. So what I should probably do there is actually go to the shorts, right? So horn 12 shorts are our F0. So here should actually be there. Do, 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 do. that bit and you can fuck off and so can you make those long and then <laughs> with, with, without that let's go back to this four sando sustains Something like that might be better, actually. Well, wait, let's see there. Right, so now let's try that, but with different mic positions. So this, uh, I'm going to bring in the tree and the mid. So I'm going to turn off the Alan Myerson version. Let's turn off the room mic as well. So we've got close mic, and this is the, the organic sound. Let's just let it load into RAM a little bit. Yeah, because if you go too, too early, you get, the cr you get the rice krispies. Man, I almost prefer that. That's like the, the non-hyped version. Nope. I mean, what do you guys think? I, do, you, do you prefer like the, the organic midden tree or do you prefer the, the hyped one? I'll turn them all on so that we can mute and solo them rather than the load and unload out of RAM. Having one, two, three, having five mic positions pushes us up to nearly seven gig of RAM, though. That is that is quite a lot. <laughs> but again, we haven't done any mic merging yet. So what I would probably do, find a balance and then uh, merge it down to one single microphone. There's going to be a lot of like DJ mics. Okay. <laughs> and now we listen to the hyped version. 
Wait, what? Which way around is it? Okay, yeah, it's on the right, isn't it? Right, so this, this is the hyped version. And then the organic version is... I think I actually prefer the, the organic version, interestingly enough, in terms of like overall sound. Let's try moving that up to the uh, solo horn. Oh, I didn't load the solo horn. Let's put it on four horns. Again, I'm just comparing the tone between them at the second. But for that, we need to come up to here, performance. We need to move this to the same range so that it has the same key switches. Hyped version. Oh, I turned it off. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, uh, wait, what? Yep. Yep. Let me turn those off. Okay. And I just want to try that one last time with a solo. So let's just replace horns four. Again, to replace it, you just literally drag it over the top. Right. Mixer. Uh, so we can turn these off now. Fuck no, we yes, yes, we could turn these off. Solo horn. All right, let's put on the uh yes, yeah, so we want the tree and the mid, and then the tree and the mid over here as well. We're just gonna compare the two. So let's mute the hyped ones. We need to bring up our thing over here for now, just so it's the same. Oh, let it load in. So that's the uh, organic, and then let's try the, uh, the, tr the, the hyped mix. One of them was going to Sforzando. Oh, it was that one, wasn't it? Du, 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 du. Different key. What do you guys think of that? What do you think of the, the horns? So that's all of the horns done. It's all the what horns. Oh, God. That? No, I can hear myself. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, right. So that was the horns. I think I like the, uh, the organic mix on those. So how do we unload something? Well, let's just replace it for now. We'll figure that out later. It's not important. So let's uh, move on to the trumpet. So we're gonna replace a solo horn with the trumpet. We're gonna replace six horns with that. And we're gonna replace 12 horns with six trumpets. Now, how does this look? Can we do the same thing? So C0, because we've already set this up once, we might as well just do the same. That way we get like comparison. Did I do that wrong? Oh yeah. Wait, what did I do? Should it be, should it be here? Oh God, what did I do wrong? Uh, no, that, oh God, you're, you're an idiot, Dan. There you go.
Why is that mwaring? What's the G zero? Wait, what? Oh no, F zero is. Yeah, it should have worked. So Marcato shorts actually on the trumpet. It's got the moi sound. You hear that? It's moi. But it feels like the long. So can we change that? Now, is this per... Is this per instrument or is this per like patch? So for example, the short on this, you can hear that's mwang. Whereas that's dan. But this is mwang. So if I change this, if you listen with it on the shorts, it's like mwang, mwang, mwang. But if we change it to the long ones, it should. A little better. It's because it's probably so low. Not a big fan of the actual sound of that, to be honest. All right, let's, uh, let's try it in some different rooms. Let's try it in some different spaces. Um, 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 on second. Oh, God. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> I want to hear that by itself. So just the room mic. I like the so I like the legato sound. <laughs> I wanted to see what it did fast. So I'm okay with the I'm okay with the uh, what do you call it the legato sounds good. <laughs> you like the the staccatissimos. Let's try it. So like you do one of these little crescendo things, you know. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, they are snappy. They are snappy as fuck. I like that you can resize the UI, by the way. And it's not, uh, it's not, <laughs> I'm sure some people will want an option, but I like that you can give yourself as much space as you want. So we're going to make this small for now, just over here. Da -da 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 -da. Staccatissimo. Or would that sound like a staccato? So what you could do is like let's try going between the two. So we'll put that on staccatissimo and then over to staccato for the next bit. Nope. It's a shit line, but.
I mean, it's it, yeah, it's snappy as fuck. Like, so if you're doing those kinds of lines, da 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 da. So what you would do is something like that. Da 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 da. So staccato into marcato. But the shorts are wahs, aren't they? They're wahring. So we have to do the long one. Need to go back. Right. The thing is, the, like, usually these uh, key switches take after the note. Uh, it takes until after the note for them to trigger. So usually you have to put them a little bit before, but it seems like that's not the case with this one. What happens if we do it as the short? Yeah, the shorts have got the more sound. Let's do them as let's do them as fucking rips. <laughs> I mean, you could. And then sustain stuff, right? So we're still on the solo trumpet, by the way. Let's move over to the next one, which is going to be the Trumpets 3. So let's turn these mics off. Right, let's move over. There we go, Trumpets 3. So we've got the tree mic on at the minute. Let's move this up so that they are C0. Wait, what did I do there? What was that going to? That's not what I wanted to do either. These ones, D0. What's D0? It's going to sustain soft. No wonder that sounded shite. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I want that in everything. Not that high. So, which one's staccatissimo that? I mean, like, you can do some really fast lines there. That's really cool. And they are, I believe, let's pull these down. So it feels like the Marcatos are, they are velocity controlled, but they're not as, they're not velocity controlled at the same ratio as the, the Spiccatos. Unless they are done by the mod wheel. They are. Okay, so the 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 Marcatos are mod wheel based. Okay, the more you know. Yeah. Right. Why is everything like bright red? What? That sounds really good. Like that is very, very usable. I'm 
pan. Right, let's try out some mic positions. Right, so that was just running through the tree. So let's put the room in there as well. I'm like, I'm, I'm loving, like is an understatement. I'm loving this sound so far. Just, I'm going to bring in this, I'm going to unmute the mic halfway through so you can hear the difference it makes. It just adds more width, doesn't it? Right, let's try a mid mic in there as well. Again, waiting for it to load. Thank you. Thank you, green scratchy sponge. <laughs> That's the, that's the funny thing about Twitch usernames is that you ha it sounds like a surreal, like I'm losing my mind. Thank you, green scratchy sponge, for your support. <laughs> like if someone was to hear me and not see who, that I'm talking to a chat room, they would think I've gone off the deep end. Uh, so that's E. Let's go to, let's try these as short with the trumpet. staccatos maybe that might be cool it works but they're too loud i like that that's a nice place for staccatos they're again so it seems like the volume between them is is like slightly inconsistent so like having the midi cc value here uh, the velocity value here at what 85 won't be 85 for marcatos because they're velocity controlled and the spiccato seems slightly off as well so i mean that's just you're gonna have to finesse it a little bit the sound is good though let me just solo some of these mics to get a vibe so this is the mid mic Matt, i feel like if you put that with the close mic you'd have like that regal sound i'm gonna try that the 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 poire sound in the short marcato Zenos was only in the solo trumpet. If if I change it here, we can test that actually. I feel like it was. So look, now I've just changed these notes here, these ones, to the short marcato. Let's have a listen. But on the solo trumpet, let me put an actual microphone on the solo trumpet. But on the solo trumpet, the shorts have a moi sound. Let's have a listen. Whereas the long marcatos have the stab at the beginning. And to be honest, like the tail of the long marcato, if it depends. Because there's not too much different. If you if you're not using up the full length of the tail, it really doesn't matter too much because it seems like when you bring in the next note, the tail disappears anyway. So you could just get away with using the marcato long in that regard. You hear it's that Whereas the long one, if you put it there, it doesn't, you know what I mean? When the tail, by the time the tails even run out, you've got spiccatos happening again. So you don't really hear it. And on this one, these need to be a little bit louder. A little bit inconsistent there, but yeah. So it uh, also seems like the uh, the volume of the staccatos is different between the instruments. But again, unless you're going between instruments like I am now uh, of the same type, like if you're going from uh, a solo line and you copy paste that onto the uh, three, the staccatos are at different volumes for some reason, but. It's just one of those things. So where was I before we got pulled away? So this is all the microphone, uh, all the uh, Alan Myerson microphones together. I'm just going to pull the volume back a little bit because it's quite loud. And then our fast bit. Like the fast bit f is fucking awesome. I'm just going to put this in my reverb. I want to see how it would work in my sound. Uh, 
Like my, my music is very reverb heavy. That's just a personal taste thing. But even dry, like, so the reverb's off now. It's got enough room. You know what I mean? It's got a 3D image to it. Um, I want to see what the close mic's like. So if you put these two together, I feel like you get that kind of uh, very close. Like the queen is entering. Like just that, and then maybe bring... So like this, I feel like that is a good balance of dry, like a dryish sound. So wait, maybe if I bring in the room instead of the tree, let me try that. Because this is like a nice balance of the, the clean. Right, but then you'd need a room surrounding it. So if I bring in the room mic, Like, I feel like that's a good balance. You know what I mean? That's a good, like, regal balance. So I bring it down. Like, I like that. But then if we put them all on together... You hear how that 3D image fills out. I love that. That's one of the cool, that's one of the powerful things about microphones. But unfortunately, in most players, when you end up with 50 microphones, you end up with this shit. You end up with five gigs of RAM for one instrument, right? But we have this merge feature. Every time I'm talking about mic positions, and that's why I'm happy to talk about mic positions with this sign player. Because even though that's using five gig, if I click this button, we're not going to do it right now because it takes a couple of minutes and we're going through the sounds right now. If I click this button, it will bounce this mix, this exact mix. So let's say that I did my Regal mix again, like this one. I could render that down as a Regal mic. And then that sound by itself would be... How about another motif? Okay. But I feel like th now that we have a motif, it's kind of, but okay. <laughs> no. No, I like my motif. Oh. <laughs> Let's do a close, close thing like that. That's what you're getting for now. I know it's annoying, but it's it's like the fact that we, the reason I'm not doing different uh, different rhythms and stuff for different patches is it's hard to tell the balance between them if I keep changing it around. You know what I mean? So that would be like my regal mix, right? Let's try the organic balance. So let's turn these off for now. Oh, we need to wait for some loading. Loading. Man, I'm digging that. I think for my application, I'd probably use the uh, the organic mics, actually. I'm actually going to bring in the, the close mic just to get some of that extra bite. That is 100% what I would use. All right, let's bring it down to the... Uh, oh, wait, we didn't, do the, we didn't do the other thing. So let's take a listen to the solo legato. That isn't a solo legato at all. You lied. Is that what, what's happening? What, why? What, give me, give me.
I mean, it's definitely got that tone to it, doesn't it? The sustains. So just like chordal stuff. Sustains soft. Sounds a little odd, but I'll take it. Fucking little finger getting in the way, always. I mean, I wouldn't do that, but it exists. It exists. Right, let's move on to Trumpet 6. I'll start this time so that you're not listening to that fucking thing over and over again. So Trumpet 6, in fact, no, fuck it. Trump, trumpet 4 again. But I want to check what that legato sounds like hyped. I want to hear that hype mix. Bruh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I beach balled it. I beach balled it. I beach balled it. I got overzealous. Oh, no. Right, we beach balled it. I think it's time for a restart. Right, one second. Fuck, I beach balled it. I got overzealous with the clicking. I tried to load too many mics at the same time. Yeah, Cubase has, has crashed. Okay, so we definitely need to be working on those stability issues, orchestral tools. Sounds are great, but we need to, we need to work on this player. It's like it's like the bane of my existence, isn't it? Custom players. By the way, can I take a minute to say thank you that a hundred of you have managed to to turn up for this live stream on a Thursday. For many of you, past midnight, I imagine. Like a lot of you Europeans are up late, and the Americans have got work tomorrow. So I appreciate that you've uh, you've turned up in the middle of the day for this. Um, you're watching it at work. Oh God, I'll try not to swear too much. Right. Oh, by the way, so those of you who were um, saying that that rhythm needed to go, it is now gone. <laughs> 9 a.m., nice and early, cozy cone. So this is worth mentioning. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, we, we have been having a few crashes with this player. Um, so I'm, I'm, as of recording this video, we're on version 1.0. So this is the ver this is their first ever player that's ever come out, and it's uh, you know it's it's feeling like it at the minute. We had the exact same thing with the play engine, and we had the exact same thing with the Spitfire engine. Something about new engines when they come out, there's a lot of what is it ghosts in the machine. So you like I hope by the time that like this video goes live, that they fixed it because so far I'm loving the sounds. What do you guys think in the chat room so far while I'm just loading up the sign player again? How are you feeling about the sound so far? We're up to the last trumpet. Right, let me load this back up. So I just need to set up my thing once more. It's a bit bees. What does bees mean? Is that like some, some uh, local local word that I don't understand, or am I just missing something? Brass two, let's load up five of these bad boys. Just turn that, turn it yellow. I like the yellow. Okay. Bzz. Oh, it sounds too buzzy. Well, the thing is, and I don't know if you caught that earlier, you can actually turn the buzzy layers off. Let me get rid of that. So we were on trumpets number six. The good thing about that is usually you can get playing pretty quick or not. Oh, you can. It's just I was playing in the wrong register. So like, as you're mentioning with the buzz, right? We can actually come down here. I'm just going to minimize this so that it's all together. I can actually turn that layer off. Here we go. Mod wheels all the way up.
And if we could try FF, see if that's okay. And then, like, if we're doing a big epic thing, we trip, we turn on the triple fuck. And that was, by the way, just, just a single mic position. So we can adjust that sound. So let's take that triple F away for now. Let's bring in the room mic. And I need to not get overzealous while this is loading. Every crash we've had so far has been me fucking with it while it's red. <laughs> so if I just give it, give it a second to load and not be overzealous, maybe we can, I mean like. Bring in the mid mic. I'm just going to solo some of these. So I want to solo this uh, this room mic. Now I want to try out this mid mic. Oh, those boys were struggling. <laughs> like, interestingly enough, I actually like that. I like it when samples where real players would struggle sound like they're struggling because then you don't use the note. So then when you get to the live, live uh, recording, you're not surprised when they're struggling to go up there. <laughs> I do appreciate that sometimes. Not always, not every note, but you know, if every other one has the slight struggle in it, at least then you can appreciate it. Then the mics together. Sustain soft. So this turning off the FF, by the way, is per note. Uh, sorry, per articulation. So if I've turned it off on the legato, it's still got it on the sustain. So the buzzy boys are back. Buzzy boys are back. I like that. For Christ's sake, Proxy Cat, would you stop it with that sex toy tuba? So let's bring down the room a bit, because that's... So we're going to have mostly mid mic on this. Now let's try the same thing, but with the uh, organic mics. Oh God, don't get overzealous. Don't want to beach ball it.
fuck, that goes loud. But let's turn off the fuck layer and... Yeah, I'm going to get I'm going to get some sad comments about my swearing. And when I say sad, I mean like literally they're going to be sad that I'm swearing. But it's who I am as a person. Right. Now the best way to do this, all right, so let's bring this all the way to C C Yeah. Where's my staccatissimo? I want to try. We're doing it in triplets. If we do this, how much of a difference does the velocity make? That's what we're testing. So now we want, uh, so staccatissimo is on G1. So da, 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 and then we want little Marcato short in there. Da, 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 and then back to this. Hmm. Can we keep that going with the shorts? Doesn't really work, does it? So we could do that like uh 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 do <laughs> thinking of a cool line. to come in way earlier. <laughs> this would be better as a staccato probably. I have no idea what that's going to be like. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That's a shit line.
It's because it's in triplets, like a double tonguing way. I mean, we could change this into a into a spiccato. We start. And then we'll make these marcatos, whatever. Where's my marcato? It's going to be down here somewhere. Marcato short. Let's try short for now. And then repeat. <laughs> like, I just want, I'm testing out these shorts. Uh, yeah, that's got my reverb on it. Shit, sorry. Let me turn that off. They are way too quiet. Dead, 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 dead. I'm testing out the, the shortness of them. Different key. That'd be like dun dun dun. Oh, but we can't do those together. But dun. Oh wait. No, let me, <laughs> I need to learn all the other keys. Like I know D minor intimately. Like me and D minor are like best buds. So that goes to like a, we could probably do it like that. To go up in the top corner, sir. Get out of my way. Not you. Like something like that might be fun. That one didn't work. Um, but I don't like that key either. You. That kind of works. I like this descending line now. Um, but one thing I do want to try is I'm going to put this down here. And all right, where, where does the note disappear? But we can extend it. Look, we can extend the range. We got to get that low D.
Man, that sounds good. Got to get that low D. Right, that's with that mic position. Now let me try it with uh, like the organic mics. Oh, let's turn that mid mic off. So this is uh, the organic mics. I'm going to let it load a little bit. Dip it, dip it. So you, sir, need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> what was that? Right, okay, that works. That works. That is glorious. That is going to sound awesome when we put it... Uh, when we put it on the trombones, because that's what we're up to next. So let's bring in them bones. Bring in the solo bone. How low does solo tro <laughs> How low does solo bone go though, bro? No, it was the solo oboe. Solo oboe works better. How low does the solo? Fuck, it's like a tongue twister. How low does the solo oboe go though, bro? You know. Anyway, right, performance. We need to do this again. So I've got it so far. Let's have it at C zero. So it just means we need to bring these down an octave. Do the sforzando. Let's bring this uh, sforzando here. In fact, we could start with the marcato short, bring a sforzando in for the next. So, sforzando sustain for this. And then if we put that afterwards, and then we keep alternating like that. So that might. Yeah. Because what that'll do is that'll accent every other beat. Does, if that makes sense. So it will now sound a little bit more dynamic. That sounds so good. <laughs> That's just the solo bone. That's some solo bones right there. Right, let's just put this in a different key. to start you want you want the nine bones okay give me a minute let's let's go with the mic positions on this first so solo solo trombone solo bone so this is just the the tree mark. they're normally down lower aren't they so let's bring in some other room mics I just want to play this with these mics on. Oh, wait, they're loading. Don't open. Wait, I'm going to save this because I like this rhythm. <gasps> I'm going to save it as a sign rhythm. Sign rhythm. Okay, we'll just, we'll just save it to the desk. No, we don't save it to the desktop. Are you mad, man? Desktop. Sign rhythm. I like that rhythm. I'm probably going to turn it into a song. One second. All right. I wonder if that sounds better actually as a staccato. No, is the answer. Maybe Mercato long. I should probably add some form of dynamics to this. Let me just... This is my form of humanization, by the way. You select what you want to change like this because you see I just program them in. And then what I try and do is keep them at the same level. But it is notoriously hard to draw a straight line free form. 
which means that you'll end up changing the dynamics. Look. Maybe if I take this away and just make it for Sando. And then, right. And then we'll do like a big marcato long thing here. And then marcato short, so like this. So we'll go big open, big open D. And then this can be a big open C. And then we'll go to another marcato there like that. Perhaps could be fun. Uh, and then. So it feels like they don't have much, uh, much, but maybe we have to bring them up like that. Yeah, it's because it's mod wheel. Um. That gets a bit too loud, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, right, so mic position. So I want to hear this more organic. So let's pull these in. I just want to hear some of these mics by himself. I'm just going to let it load in a little bit. I don't want to crash everything. We're having some crashy problems with this bad boy. Let's see, we can't, we can't play it. Don't get too overzealous. You'll beach ball it. So the short marcato is not particularly short air. Short air. Hmm. Maybe we make those short instead. In fact, these could probably. Why though? Yeah, this is just solo trombone. Yeah, there's a, a huge difference in tone between the two. All right, so let's uh, just pull these down. So on the trombone, the solo trombone, at least the uh, the Alison Meyer, Alan Myerson mix is not the Alan <laughs> fuck Alan Mixer Alan Mixerson Myerson what the Alice Allison Allison Myerson it is now Allison Mixer nope nope just abandon that abandon everything about what you're trying to say right let's bring that in how's it going it's going 
It's going. We're having some, uh, we've had a few technical difficulties, um, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Right, I'm just going to let this load in somewhat. Right, so this is three trombones. So solo. I love fucking, I love fucking. That's a statement. No, I love these uh, these bones when they're down low, lies. How does it compare to the Spitfire player? In its current form, it seems to crash more, but it has more features. So I feel like at the minute, this one has more potential, but at the minute, the Spitfire one's more stable, if that makes sense. And that's just one mic. Let's bring in them mid mics. Mid mic's more of a close mic, it feels like. So let's bring in the room. Let's bring in the mid. Let it load a little bit. How far in are we? We're two and a half hours in. I will have to use a bathroom at some, some point because I'm just down in these Pepsi Maxes. All right, let's let that load in. Oh, God. Oh, God. When you push the thing. Right, so I put that on sustain soft then. Listen to that fucking set. That's what I mean though. Like it's like Bohemian violin, how Bohemian violin takes like forever to load in. Like if, if they can get 1.1 to be stable and less crashy, listen, listen to these fucking. Let me turn off the, the big loud layers so we can push that up a bit. We don't want MF either. I want P. I want nothing but P. That sounds weird. What am I doing wrong? Am I still on the fucking... I'm on still on the... That was still the solo one. I'm an idiot. So what are we actually playing there? got some girth is that is that a fair word to say is that against the term of service right. sustains Fucking FFF layers. What do the Marcato sound like? I mean, you wouldn't play a close chord like that. You'd be more like... Okay, we're just going to pull the volume of those down a bit. Even at fucking minus 10, they're going red.
They're so clean sounding though, you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna pull some of these down a little bit just so right. Let's let's try playing the thing. Did I put the did I put it at C0? So it should just play, right? Tits. So I'm gonna have to have this build to be quite loud and then this can come in a bit louder. There we go. everything about that section. <laughs> yeah. I actually preferred that as a as a thing. No, I'm going to do that way. Okay. <laughs> doesn't go that high, so we need it like there. So what would that be? Let's, let's just put it in, fuck it. Back in the D. Dun, bam, bam, bam. And then what we could do, like, da, 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 da. We have to get right in. I want to see if it can do these snappy snaps. Oh. Mm, struggles. Maybe up there. This one needs to be a staccato. There we go. Dum bum 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 oh bum 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 like that I mean I guess it could just all be um so then Staccato, where are you? Uh, and then, da, 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 and then, bam. Where's my rip? That's going to sound weird, but whatever. <laughs> nope. That, so, yeah, this needs to just stay as staccatissimo. And then.
uh, yeah. So that's the the, the uh, main mixes. Let's turn on the uh, the mid and tree and turn off the mid and tree for this. We'll also take out the room. I'll keep the close mic in. So this will be it organic sounding, you know. It's going to let it load in a bit. I don't want to keep the crashes coming. I want to keep this hype train rolling. Okay, I feel like that's close enough. It's close enough, boy. In some situations, this wouldn't be a thing, but what, what wouldn't be a thing? I like that. Let me listen to just the mid mic. Then you put in the tree. The tree just brings it to life. take out the tree on this one and bring in the tree and the uh bring in the other ones uh we'll leave the mid mic as natural for now and bring in the the uh alan myerson ones i feel like that brings 3dness three, 3 3d's three 3dness three when you unsolo everything So like if I take these out, well actually I'll, it'll be easier to bring them in. You can hear what they're doing. Like the, the Alamiasen tree and room are what gives it that 3D-ness to me. So to me, the Allison, uh, Allison, Fucking Allison. Who's Allison? Alan Myerson, uh, room mic, is like the tree mic, but a bit more kind of, um, a bit closer. Like, the, listen to the difference between them two, between the two. They both bring the same kind of 3D, but the room one is a little bit kind of tighter. It's a little bit closer, obviously, because that's where the mic is. But I mean, it's like, it feels a little bit more dry. <laughs> You bring them in together, they really go ham. But I mean, if it gets too reverby, I find that bringing out, uh, bringing down the the Alan Myerson tree mic actually kind of uh, shrinks the room a little bit. But sometimes that's what you want. I like that one. All right, let's move over to what, which one are we on? Performance, right, what was my, what was happening there? Dun, 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 dun. Right, so we're on, uh, God, that was only three, so let's bring in six bones. Six bones and let's put the performance so that this is on C0 and then it should, when it's loaded in, just kind of translate. Yeah, so right now the sound is amazing. Like it's 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 borderline 10 out of 10 sound for me. The trumpets in a few places felt a little odd, but so far the bones and horns have been perfect for the, the type of music that I like writing anyway. But one thing, one thing that that's holding it back right now is is we were getting a few crashes and and 
uh, at the beginning. And as you've noticed, have you guys noticed that like, since I haven't touched the store and my licenses while it's open, we haven't had any of the UI freezing or anything like that. So it seems like that is the culprit in it. And I feel like what it's doing is when, uh, when you click those, it starts forcing itself into like trying to find an internet connection. Uh, and that's when it starts going over. Would I pick this over Cinebras at the minute? Yes. Like if, if the UI, if this, this interface starts getting more stable, then absolutely. Right now, I couldn't because it's a little bit unstable. But other than that, it's working great. So this is just six trombones doing the same thing. <laughs> So it's lost a lot of definition, but that might be because we haven't got the the close mics on. Let's bring let's bring in the the full mic collection here. Let's see what we got. So the uh, the tree was the reverb. So let's make this a little tighter. Obviously, the more players you get with trombones, the the more not mud, but the more like pfft, air you're going to be moving. So it's going to be a lot noisier. Oh, don't get overzealous. Comparison. We don't actually have any mics on that one. So we'll keep keep going. <laughs> So what it seems like, what it seems like is that six, six players is going to be like too, too much for nimble playing. But based on what I heard then. So if you want the big epic sound, you want to go six trombones and above if you're doing big sustain stuff like. If you're doing big sustain stuff, that's where you want to be going. However, if you want to be nimble, I'd say that the three trombones sounds big, but it's also got the sharp attack. If that does that make sense to you guys? Like even down low like that. Like that, I'm just going to put my reverb on. Like that when you're playing with reverb on. So like sustains, because like like this is it playing the the quick notes. Like it, it starts blam blam. So if you're playing nimble stuff, stick to the lower lower players because it comes through. It's definitely more um more sharp. And if if you're playing more than two notes, you're getting six players anyway. Whereas like playing it like this. It's doubling up, so you're getting 12 players, but it doesn't sound like 12 players. It just sounds like two sixes jamming up against each other. So let me turn on these other two mics. I'll turn off the mid and tree from Mr. Myerson. We're going to call him Mr. Myerson because I keep saying Allison. Because Alice, Alan Myerson mix, Alan Myerson mix, for some reason makes me say Allison Myerson. Allison Myerson. And it's not Allison. Poor Allison did nothing wrong. Right. Let's turn these, let's have a gander, so let's turn that down actually. Let's try the... Yeah, 
Yeah, of, of course. That, that's what I'm saying. Like when you've got smaller, when you've got a less amount of players together, the definition of every attack is a lot more clear. It's the same reason as like when you hear a violin, it sounds really like sharp and defined. But if you have a violin section, they all kind of blur together. You know what I mean? So uh, less players doing staccato things, doing short notes, will pierce through more. That's that just tends to be how it how it works. So this is the organic mixes on sustain. Oh, I put it in marcatos. I like the marcatos more actually. So it's like. Beautiful sound. That's the organic mixes. So again, less hyped, but um, but it works. So let's try it even more, even more brass. Twelve. Let's bring in twelve. Let's see how that stacks up. So it's going to come in with a single microphone. Let's try and get it to do this nimble thing. Let's see what happens. See if it gets even blurrier. <laughs> Again, more players for sustain notes means more balls. It depends how many balls you want. So if you're doing sustain, more players is key. If you want... Oh, wait, we're in legato. Well, let's just listen to legato quick. this up to C0. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, like it again, the short short notes get more more blurry, but the <laughs> the big sustains just turn into this fucking That's a lot of players, like it's insane. And people, like you'll often get, particularly when you use patches like this, you'll get, well, if you play more than two notes, you're gonna end up with like a hundred players. And it's like, yes, yes, I can't afford a hundred players in real life. But when I have my keyboard. Oh, what did I do? Let's put it back to sustain soft. I'm going to take away some high layers. Let's just. is still just one mic position so let's bring some more 3ds or well, the mid mic works almost like a close but we'll bring in the close mic as well so we'll bring that down room mic just adds a little bit more depth but we'll pull that down i'm just going to pull the general volume down because that many microphones with 12 players is going to be quite the sound let's do it with a marcato long let's just blow this bad boy Marcato staccatissimo is like. Mm. 
But again, I wouldn't really use it for that. a big sound. What, what are the mics by themselves sound? It's just a close mic by itself. That one's really 3D sounding. Such a big sound again. Man, that just sounds amazing. It, and you get what I'm saying, right? So when you when you are doing sustained stuff and you want it to sound big go for the more players you're doing this the small nimble stuff or not even small if you're trying to do big nimble stuff three trombones seems to be enough so let's bring in oh we got the bass trombone it's gonna be a bad boy in it the bad boy of brass the bass trombone the bad boy of brass the bass bone there you go there's the bees the bad boy of bass bad boy of bass the bass bone the bad boy of brass bass bone yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Okay, I'm in love. So instruments like this are really, really, really good doubled with like uh, cellos and basses in octaves. There's a good one in uh, Spitfire's thing, the original Albion one. Oh, I beach balled it. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. We can rebuild. All right. Strings low. Uh, the, like the original octave legato, like this thing. You put that with this. I'm just going to move this up an octave. Let's bring that up. You know what I mean? Like it's uh, it, that's kind of how you would use that kind uh, that type of sound. In fact, let me try it with the Metropolis Arc. Where if I can fucking find it, there it is. Strings low, string chariot. Oh, that's even better.
oh, doesn't that just tickle you? That just tickle you in the right spots. So let's put it back down to where it was. And now we can play. <laughs> By the way, I fucking love that feature with a passion. Being able to drag where like where you want the keys to be is so fucking underrated. So for this to work, we'd have to actually move our uh these down, wouldn't we? An octave. <laughs> Everything would have to go down an octave. I tell you what, that handled it better than I thought it would. I know that was messy still, but like there was definition with the shorts. Maybe because it's three players playing low, but my God. It was it was pretty pretty intense. All right, let's bring in a close mic and the mid mic because the the close and mid bring in like the closeness. So I'll pull down the actual uh, the tree, which is giving it that big three D sound. Let this load into about two gigs, and then I'll start playing it. In fact, I could probably play it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> bit too, bit too muffly. So in this one, bringing in the close actually made it uh, messier. I'm going to bring in the room mic as well. Bringing in the room mic made it messier. Hmm, interesting. It's it, like, obviously you wouldn't do it this fast. Uh, let me way slow down the tempo. Let's bring it down to like, I don't know, half speed. So this mid mic brings in a lot of mud. That sounds fucking awesome. So let me bring in the these two mics. So that's the mid and the tree. So I'll turn off the other ones. Yeah, turn those off. I'll bring the room down a bit. The close mic was a bit messy. So we'll just bring that down a tad, just a touch, just a touch. See what else is going down. All right. Don't, don't get, don't get carried away. Don't get carried away. You have to nurse this, this player at the minute. You have to nurse it like a child. Nice clean, huh? Man, that's fucking, that's handling it really well. I noticed that it was muffled because I had my reverb on like a moron. Can we... 
seems to be like if you're sharper, like if you're playing low, the attack seems to be sharper. Like so. Fuck off. So like if I bring these all the way up, I actually get sharper. I wonder if that's sank the octave down. Yeah, so like going really, really, uh, going into the triple F, with the uh, staccatissimo seems to make it cut through a lot better. I wonder what the uh, the rips sound like on this. <laughs> like a fart. <laughs> Does sound fun though. Yeah, so like moody. And that's going to hold down your bass so, so hard. You know what I mean? Like, even just a swell. And that's the soft sustains. <laughs> Listen to that shit. Like that is, that is fucking incredible. That is just three bass trombones. And then the Marcatos are gonna be even more intense than they. Fucking hell. <laughs> Let me turn off. I'll keep uh I'll keep the mid and tree on for now. Let's bring in, let's bring in the next bad boy. But first, I'm just gonna have a little bathroom break. If anybody needs a drink or anything, I'm just gonna put on some music for like literally, it's gonna be about 30 seconds to a minute. We're just gonna have a little break. So go grab yourself a drink or anything. Right, we're just gonna play some Angus. While I, while I go get some more Pepsi and stuff. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
Okay, okay, that's enough of that. Angus, no. Behave, Angus. Okay. There we go. I, sorry, I went with the with the speed of the gods. So if you're if you're not back yet, I also got some biscuits. I found some British biscuits, so we're gonna have some of them at some point. What are you guys thinking so far? We're about halfway through, just a little bit further, a little bit further than well, a little bit over halfway now. How are you guys feeling about the library? I am I am enjoying it thus far. The sound of it. That's strings. <laughs> that was strings. Don't do that. It's, it's big fucking balls. Like, I say it a lot with orchestral tools. And again, like, we have this comparison to Spitfire. Not because, again, like, people are always bringing up, like, oh, you just hate them. It's There's two big companies at the minute. Cine samples are still there, but they've kind of gone quiet for a while. So the two big companies at the minute are Spitfire and orchestral tools. And so when I compare them, I'm comparing them directly. So when they call something like Albion 1 Epic Hybrid Orchestra... I have to compare it to what Orchestral Tools calls epic hybrid orchestra, which is things like Metropolis Arc and now JXL Brass. And as I showed in the demonstration, there is no comparison. Like Orchestral Tools are by far the most epic and large and ballsy sounding samples out there at the minute. The, the only thing I can think of that comes close right now is maybe the Talos horns from Audio. Is that Audio Imperia? That's Audio Imperia, isn't it? It's not heavy Aussie is yeah. Like in terms of size, cause Forzo, I like, I like the tone of it, but for more soft things, but the, the Talos horns and the Cinebrass pro are the only things that even come close, but this is fucking huge sounding. You heard the bass trombones by themselves. It sounds amazingly large and that's what you want. You want size counts, size matters when it comes to brass, right? We're on the Chimbassi. I've been holding off on this one because I love me some Chimbassi. Right. Double click it in. Right, I'll let it load a little bit. Yeah, Talos Horns is Audio Imperia. Yeah, because they've got like that big low growly patch as well. The software definitely needs an update. Like as fast as they can get it out. Sloppy, slop, slappy. I, I don't know the correct term to use. I wonder what that sounds like if we put it with the strings. So I'm gonna, because the, the, so for those wondering, I have uh, Metropolis Arc's low strings, which is recorded in the same hall for these low instruments, because usually when you play them, you'd want to double them, or at least I do, because I like the sound of it. So that's a C, so we'll just move this up again. Love that feature with a passion. Being able to change where my where my key switches are and even where. So what I did there was I transposed the key, the entire thing up an octave. Not in terms of just taking the sample and transposing it up. I literally moved the note up, so the low note is now higher. So that means I can double it with the strings. If that was too slappy, we can take it all down an octave as easily as that. Look at that. That now we've got every, now <laughs> the chimbassi will be an octave higher. Let me, so we're an octave down. So these are C minus one. So these will need to come down again. Whoop. C minus, oh no, they're in the right place. Yeah, Chimbassi definitely ain't built for that. <laughs> so I'd say with Chimbassi, you want to be doing 
like really <laughs> down there that is literally just a wet fart sorry my mod wheel was stuck then It's a wide as fuck sound, right? Let's bring in the um, the mid, uh, the room, and the close. Again, I'm using the Alan Myerson mixes, not the Alice Myerson. Oh, wait, don't get overzealous. I need to stop doing that. So one thing I've, uh, I've noticed is that if you try and play it while it's loading in like that, you end up with a Rice Krispie attack like that instantly sounds bigger so we went from this oh we went from this to this you know what i'm gonna br i'm gonna put a bass oh we've still got one so if i was to play them both at the same time so the bass trombone and the chimbassi together And they were playing staccato. Let me put it on Mark. I'll put them both on Marcato. I'll take the strings out. I mean, come on. Have fun. <laughs> like, I'm like a kid at Christmas. I mean, it kind of is. We'll just play the chimbassi. So that's a close mic. So the mid mic is the mid mic's almost like the base of this one. And the buzz is more like uh, the tree mic so if you want to get that extra buzz make sure you've got the tree mic on and if you want a bit more body bring in the mid mic close mic I'll pull this back a bit it's a bit loud So it's four sound notes and more like.
<laughs> the rips. Literally living up to their name. Man, and like people are saying, I need to try this with the tuba. So let's bring the tuba in now. All right, so the tuba's on channel four. That is some buzzy tuba. Imagine how much air. Well, I think we did that. We, we commented on that last week, didn't we? With the air machine. Like the amount of air you would need to sustain that. That's, I think it's one tuba. It doesn't have a number next to it. So. If it's more, it still sounds big as is. Big as is? Right, let's turn these solos off from the Chimbassi. In a minute, I'm going to try all three together. First, we're just going to check the mics on these. Check the mic. Right, how do I... Is there more room? Wait. Ah, there it is. I was wondering what happens if you go over the screen. It's like that. So we're not actually over the screen. So let's bring in the room mic. Again, let's bring in old Allison's mics. Good old Allison. Let's see what these sound like. So as you can see, we're almost up at six gig there. And again, at the end, we'll try the mic merging. Um, I do want to bring in the uh, French horns again. I want to see how the lower numbers deal with that really fast section we wrote. You see, like I got, I, I got carried away again. <laughs> oh, just gives it girth. I don't know a better word. It's this mid mic. Is it? Oh, this one with the close mic. Like a combination of the mid and close mic brings the balls. Well, not the balls. This brings the girth, and then the tree and room bring the balls. I know that's a really weird analogy, but I can't. Like by balls, I just mean like the power. By like the girth, I mean like the bass and the sub, you know, like it's... For, oh. Like, am I wrong? Like there's more, there's more... There's more to that. If I take them away, gets a little, like it loses some of that girth. We put it back in. I need to do it. So what do we do? Sustains. What do you, yeah, let's do, no, fuck it. Let's start with Marcato. Marcato, 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 all three of them together. Hit a low note. It was worth the wait. Let's try sustains. It was worth the wait. worth all the way. Let's bring them down so that... Look at that. Look, I'm bringing them down to minus 10. They're still almost clipping. Now let's bring in the string as well. Like, ah, oh. so you could, uh, I, I don't know how, like, I'm excited by this because I think of the possibilities. There's those parts, like particularly scenes, let's say that the big bad guys come in and you don't want to, you know, they're, they're coming down from the sky and they're all evil, you know. You and then, Marcato, come on. Like, 
it's just such a big sound and like let's bring in because the bass trombone's just on the mid and tree i mean we could okay we'll bring in the room on that it's quite loud so we'll bring that down the chimbassi what we got loaded on that it's a pretty good one pretty good balance on that and the tube yeah so just all together is like <laughs> Take the strings out for now. Like even low, you know? But then. Let's try the short ones. It's oh, it's just so fucking huge sounding. All right, let's try staccatos maybe. The problem is, is that you have to... Oh, hurts your fingers having to play that hard. You can still play pretty quick. Man, right, so just on that tuba, just want to try the sustains again. Hang on. I'm not a fan of that dynamic layer change, though. It's not too bad there. It's a bit noticeable, but the sound itself is so full. I, I, <laughs> I would just be either I choose this or I choose this. I'd be, being in between them doesn't sound so hot. sound right let me just quickly bring up those french horns again uh, i'm gonna bring in four horn four lawn four horn right what's that on brass one so let's go to performance let's bring this up to wherever it was c0 i think we were for most of the time and then bring that up <laughs> Let's try it with the solo horn. It worked quite well with trumpets, didn't it, that line? This probably won't sound too good, but yeah. Right, performance, let's bring this up to here. Yeah. 
So like the, the French horn doesn't handle that too well, but I do want to try it with the trumpet. Someone was asking for the trumpet, so let's bring them in. Uh, again, I'm, I'm going to save these eventually, but for right now, it's good to just show how easy that is. So now I'm just moving the key switch range back into the same spot as um, I'm bringing it into the same spot as everything else. So I don't actually have to change where it goes, but these are going to have to be higher, aren't they? Man, that sounds good. Right, let me try some different mics on that. So I definitely want a close mic in there, get some of that. Well, just bring in the, I like, let's just bring in the Allison mix. That's what I'm actually going to call it. I'm going to call this the Allison mix because I fucked up saying Alan Myerson's. It's like a tongue twister. Saying Alan Myerson mix so often makes you say Allison or it makes me say Allison. So this is now the Allison mix when you bring them all in together. Oh, we're at 10 gig. This is this is a big this is a big brass section right here. And again, we will try the uh, mic merging. We'll do that next. Actually, let me find a good balance and then we'll try it. So I actually prefer the mid. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click merge. We'll call this the Allison mix. Merge. Right. So whilst that happens, let me give you my, my, my thoughts on the library thus far. So we covered the entire library. Um, so strong points, low brass, holy fuck, holy fuck. It's got balls. It's got girth. It's just got size and power. Um, and to be honest, I can't think of anything other than Cinebrass Pro Monster Brass, which even comes close to that power. And even then, I think it's a bit more powerful than that. The uh, the trumpets sounded a little odd in the solo, but when you got to the three players it, uh, and above, it was it was fine. The French horns sound super powerful. With the trombones, when you've got uh, when you're doing fast passages using the short, like if you're using short articulations, if you want to go fast use three players or less. If you want size and you're using sustains, go with six or more. Uh, yeah, the trumpet had some weird things. The All the French horns sounded great, but again, more players means that they become less nimble. So make sure that you... Uh, yeah, they become less nimble, so make sure that if you're doing sustain notes, more players will sound bigger uh, if you're doing less... Uh, if you're doing more, like, fast, uh, articulated short note things, use less players. They stand out more. The player itself is great in regards to the features that it provides. I fucking love the ability to drag the, uh, the key switches and the, the keyboard range around just on the thing. Um, after this, we will show the, uh, I did forget. In fact, like before we finish these thoughts, oh, I can't cause it's, it's mixing down the Allison mix. We'll talk about that in a second. I have seen in the videos, the ability to change between articulations using their sign player wheel. I do want to show that. So we'll show that in a minute. So the download process was relatively painless, uh, to a degree. So when, when downloading it, I started off by downloading just the, uh, basic mix, which is two, two mic positions. I believe it was the tree in the mid, uh, Alan Myerson ones. I downloaded those first, and that's the cool thing about the sign players. You can download a la carte, which means you can download indivi like individual instruments and individual mic positions if you want to. So instead of getting your 300 gigabyte new library and having to wait for it all to download, if you want to just get it and play around for a minute, you could just download one, like you could just download the French horn with a tree mic, and it'll be downloaded in a, in a minute or two, or however fast your internet connection is. And having that ability to just that, because that the reason I did that was I downloaded the basic mix first to see what mics felt like they were missing. And so then I added the microphones that I would use. Like for example, I don't have my surround set up. So there was no point me downloading the reverse mics 
because I like there's no point to me having them set up like that. I wouldn't use them, but I have the option to whenever I want to. Uh, the mic merging feature, we don't know if it works yet, but obviously that's going. Some negatives we did have is that it does seem that having the store and the license thing connected to the player is actually sort of a hindrance at the minute because one bug we found that is if you if you access anything that uses the internet, that being the store of the licenses, it actually made my entire uh, Cubase freeze up. So like my UI elements were freezing. And then when I tried to change the uh, the instrument to back to contact or to nothing, it actually crashed the whole system. So that's something I hope they get on really quickly. Um, I really like the ability to be able to turn off the individual uh, like dynamics. So a few people in the chat were saying that a brass, for example, was too buzzy. So all I had to do was turn off the triple F and then mod wheel at the top wasn't too buzzy anymore because we got rid of that layer. Alternatively, if you're doing a big epic mix and you want to have it sound huge, but you, you know you need the dynamics to come down, but you don't want it to go into a softer dynamic layer, you can remove the, the P up to like MF if you wanted to, so that the, the entire range of the mod wheel was on F and trip, F, double F and triple F. Um, that is an amazing feature also. And that's what I was saying. So again, I get a lot of comments about why am I being hard on Spitfire? There's two big companies at the minute that do sample libraries. There's Spitfire and there's orchestral tools. The Spitfire player at the minute doesn't seem to have any features focused at composers. Uh, it, it seems more like a rompler, like it exists solely to allow you to play back their samples, but it doesn't give you any features that contact didn't already do it. So it didn't seem like there was a reason for that sampler to exist. If anything, it restricts you more because you don't have access to contacts, uh, EQs and stuff. You don't have that here either. That's a negative to this. You don't have access to effects and stuff. So if you want to EQ something out, you're kind of shit out of luck in that regard. That's a negative for both. And that's a negative for all sample players. I think play actually has an EQ, so I can't say that about play anymore. Um, well, where was I going with that? Spitfire, yeah. And so with, with a Spitfire player, you can't even... Uh, load in multiple. So you saw the way that I work is a very modular setup. So I have empty instances of contact with MIDI channels attached to them. So when I'm writing a piece of music, I just load in the uh, I load in the sample that is most appropriate for the music I'm writing. Now with the Spitfire player, you can't do that because you can only load one instrument per instance. The sign player allows you to do multis and it allows you to have a mix window where you can mix them all together and change the mic positions of each of them in one place. That is extremely useful, particularly like we did here if you're trying to build a balanced mix. So like having the four microphones on one page is super useful with a scroll wheel. Again, Spitfire player, if you want to go through the different mic positions, you have to click through pages. This, you have a scroll wheel, so you can use shift in your mod wheel, uh, not mod wheel, shift in your mouse wheel, or you can scroll along. It's it's the difference, and, and it's actually quite good, like a, a very good comparison. One is form over function, and one is function over form. So whilst the sign player may not be as physically attractive, you know, it hasn't got all the bells and whistles, it's a lot more functional. Having all those features, having things like ADSR, for example, most people wouldn't see that as a, something you would need, you know, with a sample player. But there are times when the tail just isn't long enough for you, like the release tail isn't long enough, or it's coming in a bit too sharp and you want to do more of a pad-like thing. Not something you would do with live players, but something that you can do with samples and something I do all the time. Having features like that makes the sign player, in my opinion, far superior to the other ones that are out there. Uh, like the play engine, I don't have too much experience with, but it has improved. So the play engine is also a decent one. And when I'm when I'm talking about that is I want to compare it to Contact because Contact is the industry standard sampler. And so, so yeah, would I recommend this library? I would absolutely recommend it on the condition that they can get an update for the player out fast. Because right now it's it's borderline unusable in a project because where the crashes are happening seem unstable. So when you're loading instruments in, for example, uh, you have to wait for it to load. And, and we did beach ball it once by clicking around too much. We were trying to do too much while it was trying to load samples in. That crashed the engine, which then crashed the DAW. We can't have that happen in mid-session. So they need to fix that. Whatever the issue is from going between 
the internet part of the sign player, so that being the store and the registration, and then going back to the player seems to lock up the UI on my system, at least. I mean, I don't know if it happens for the rest of the chat room, but it did, it locked up the uh, UI and it, it stopped me being able to load instruments into contact even. It's like it froze the GUI. So I'm not sure why that happened. The only thing I can think of is something to do with the fact it's trying to connect to the internet seem to make it hang up. Oh, and now our Allison mix is done. So let's quickly see. There we go, the Allison mix. Beautiful, and that was on the trumpets. So now, now you see we did that, we did the merge, and what it did is it turned off all of our mic positions that we used, and it put them all in the Allison mix. So now let's listen to how that sounds through the Allison mix. Beautiful. And that's done it. And okay, let me get rid of these other instruments first. So let's just turn all the other mics off. And let's see what the difference actually is. Right. So how do we unload instruments? Remove. 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 There we go. So let's pull. The mute off of those, off, 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 there we go. So now we have that single mix. If we turn that off, and this is a combination of all of these mics. So this is the difference it makes on RAM footprint. So this mix, I'll just play it when it loads in so you can actually see that it's the same, it should be at least, the same mix. And we, oh, I'm not going to start playing. So what we did there, like if you're like clicking around the video on YouTube or something and you missed what I did, is what I did is I loaded these four up together and I found a mix for these trumpets, which was kind of clean, but also had some room to it, uh, which was a combination of these four uh, mic positions. And as you can see, this is going up into the like three and a half gig, okay? Right, so now if we turn these off and bring in just the Allison mix, which was a merged version. So all I did was have these on, set the thing, and then click merge. So let's see what that actually is. So that takes three, three and a half gig down to less than one. So that allows you, I mean, if you've downloaded all of the mic positions, you could potentially set up a mic mix that has all like eight mi microphones in one go. That would be like eight gigs if you had them all loaded. And then you can merge them down to one. And as you can hear, it should be the exact same mix we just heard. And that should apply, should apply. And we could, I believe, we can remove the articulations that we're not going to use. So let's say we're just doing marcato long in this one. Uh, we don't need, we don't need the, oh, and then we crash. So there's a good way to end. So that definitely needs patching. <laughs> so removing stuff also does it. But I don't know if you saw that before it crashed, is it was actually removing RAM as we were going. We got down to about 600 and then it crashed. But anyway, let's let's not go there again. So yeah, that definitely solidifies my point. You need to fix these crashes. But I don't know, I'm asking you. So this, before we go, I'm reaching out to the chat room here. What do you think about this library? Would you recommend it? Would you recommend it to people? I personally would, as long as they can get those issues fixed. Because as, it's, as it stands currently, we can't, we can't be crashing. We can't be crashing like that. What version of OS X am I using? I am using currently version, let me check this out, version 10.12.6. 10.12.6. <laughs> I don't even have to close down my session anymore. It's done for me. Uh, 
Sign player helps you close your DAW quickly. <laughs> if I was being totally biased, that's how I would say. It. But no, like that definitely needs fixing. Um, that's like the amount of crashes is borderline unacceptable right now. Uh, we need we need that patch and we need it quick. I'm not sure why it's crashing quite as often. Maybe it's just for me. Chat room can let me know. Hardly any crashing reports on VI control. So you've seen that we've crashed about four or five times during this stream. So that means for me personally, in a session, I couldn't trust it yet. However, the samples that are in it are also fucking awesome. So I'm split. What I would probably do <laughs> is I would... Pro, right now, if I was doing something, because the, the actual sounds of the JXL brass to me are incredible. So in order to use them right now, what I would have to do is program the parts with another brass library, you know, get everything working. And then as a final pass, load in the sign player, render out all the bits that I've written as audio, and then hope that I can remove the sign player without it crashing. But like that is, that's unacceptable. We can't be expecting that. However, the sounds are good. So I'm really split on whether or not a recommendation is in because I am, like like the chat room saying, I am fucking hard in on the sound, but the player right now is forcing me to say out, you know? So I don't know. If they can fix it, it's going to be the best brass library out there by far. By In my opinion, in my honest opinion, if they can fix the player, best brass library on the, on the market. Right now, stability is an issue. So we need to get that fixed. Uh, and I'm doing this. I'm I'm doing this this uh, first look two days after release. This is their first ever player, so I don't know how hard we can be on it. I, I think I, I was giving the other players uh, a little bit of leeway when I did it before. But like, if we if we go like two months down the road, if we get into 2020, like in February, and it's still the same way, then it would have to be a hard out. But the yeah. The, so I, yeah, the sound amazing player definitely needs work, but I do like it. It's, it's interesting because in theory, in theory, the player is one of the better players. I still think contact is industry standard, but contact's been around for a decade. So I don't know how fair of a comparison it is. The same with the Spitfire comparing it directly to contact is almost unfair, but you have to, because that's what people are already using. So yes, it's already had 10 years, but if you're going to try to compete, you need to at least have the stability and you need to be able to function in the actual projects. So yeah, if they can get it fixed, it's going to be 100% the best brass library on the market. As it stands right now, it's good if it works for you. Would you say that that's a fair assessment? Would you say that's unfair? What did you think of this first look today? Did you enjoy it? Did you find it useful? Are you planning on picking up the library yourself? Let me know in the chat room. And if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know down in the comments. But that will be the end of today's first look stream. And that was a few hours long. But yeah, I enjoyed it. So if you're watching this on YouTube, do make sure to subscribe and hit the bell, whatever it is that I am, I'm supposed to say for YouTube. Uh, if you're on Twitch, stick around. We are going to continue this stream for a little bit longer afterwards. But if you're watching on YouTube, Thank you so much for joining today. Again, I hope you found this useful. If not, enter, at least I hope you found it entertaining. Even then, what are you doing here still? Like, <laughs> But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.